greatly in the Terran versus Protoss matchup and the Protoss versus Terran matchup. So it heavily aids the attackers against the defenders. Um, okay, so we're, we're actually in the replay now. So let's head over to the game. Let's get the uh, the players up and let's get the let's get going. Okay, so starting us off in the top, uh, sorry, the bottom right position, 5 o'clock, we do have the white Protoss. It is Flash for the win, fighting for TL. And spawning over in the top middle position, the 12 o'clock position, we do have the Teal Terran. It's Terra, although apparently it's Sayok. Um, let me just quickly update that. <laughs> Wait, why didn't that update? Ah, wait, okay. No, I'm being a clown. Yeah, let's actually just quickly update the overlay so the top one's up to date as well. Here we go. Everything should be fine now. Uh, of course, we do have Terra in the top. Flash for the win in the bottom. What are we going to see here now? There is a slight position imbalance on this map. Uh, it doesn't come into play too much in PvT, but it can do. Uh, we could actually see it come into play here. There's a considerably a lot more airspace around the top middle, uh, the 12 o'clock natural. Which makes Reavers a lot stronger in this position. Another little imbalance, but it doesn't really affect too much, is this area around in the top right. I'm not going to show it because it's just black at the moment. Uh, but that is all dead airspace, so it makes it very difficult for Terran to chase away shuttles. Now, whether we're going to see Reavers or not, I'm not sure. It looks like we will have... A fairly standard opening for Terra. He's not going to go for anything crazy. Kind of interesting that he's not walling off against Zealots. I can't quite figure out if a Deeper would fit in there. Uh, but it is kind of an awkward meme to build in as well. Flash for the win going for a very quick scout off the back of the gateway. And luckily for him, he is actually going to be able to scout the first, the correct position first. Are we going to have Terra's scout seeing that as well? Looks like he's going to try and block... The Block the probe and looks like he's going to be able to do it. I cannot do this no matter how hard I try. Uh, so that was a really nice block. They're going to block the probe just long enough for his gas to finish. Just long enough for his barracks to get closer to finish as well. And here we go. There's a hallmark of a good Terran player. Actually pulls off his SCV from building the barracks. Knows he can afford to delay that ever so slightly. Just to try and get a few more hits on the probe. Uh, keeping the probe alive a lot more important than trying to get the barracks up straight away because the probe can not only build proxy pylons in your main, uh, they can build gateways in your main, they can build everything in your main. Like, uh, I was playing a TVP yesterday where the Protoss player built a shield battery in my main and then I lost. In fact, as a matter of fact, that was this morning. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a fun game where we have the first factory on the way. Nice little bit of micro with the probe, flash for the win. Doing a pretty good job of keeping this probe alive, actually. And here we go. We've got a Zealot moving across to the middle. Looks like we're going to have a Nexus coming up for him as well. We do have Terra actually stopping on two Marines. This means he's going to be going for a Siege Expand. Another hallmark of that is you can actually see there's only one on gas. Siege Expand quite strong on this map. Uh, if you Siege a tank here, it's got quite a big range. can attack pretty much most of this. Uh, the other place you can actually put a tank is here, and it blocks off this high ground pod on the other ramp. Uh, but it looks like we will have the, uh, the SCV coming in here, going to be able to scout everything it needs to see. It sees the Cybernetic Core, it sees two Zealots. Two Zealots is a very interesting choice. I don't think I've actually seen that, unless they're going some kind of Zealot all in, which I don't think we'll see this game. And here we go, the uh, the CC should go up around about 400, uh, 400 minerals. Looks like it's 50 minerals late, but uh, still doing a pretty good job. And as a reaction to the two Zealots, we actually see a Vulture first. Uh, this is perfectly reasonable to do. Can he get any damage done with it? That's a very important question. The, I don't even think the Cybernetic scores are. No, it's not. So actually, three Zealots are out right now, and they are going to be able to do pretty much nothing against this Vulture that's moving across the map. How many probe kills is this Vulture going to do? A good amount of probe kills for one Vulture would be three. Uh, if he can get three probe kills, that'll be way more than worth the cost and the time it took to build. Looks like he is uh, missing, misclicking a little bit, does get the one probe. Will he get any of the Zealots? Looks like he's going to try and micro them down. Tries to get the other probe, doesn't quite hit it. 
Uh, but this is going to be quite annoying for Flash for the win. He's lost the advantage he got from going for that early Nexus. He's not going to be able to build probes here until the Vulture's dead. And he's going to have to try and uh, catch this Vulture. But look at this. Nice micro here by Terra as he moves back away from the units of Flash for the win. And all the meanwhile, uh, in the meanwhile, he does have his command center finishing up. He's going for mines. He's actually going to go for a mine expand. And now this is one of those moments where the high ground is actually going to play a pretty big part in this game. Uh, when Terra does get his mines, he's going to spread them out on top of this ramp and make it increasingly annoying for Flash for the win to try and get out. Wow. Terra actually keeping his SCV in the base. Looks like Flash for the win just about saw it. Uh, gonna go and kill it, but here we go. First mine is out. He's gonna be able to block this path as well, and he's likely gonna block the third nexus from going off around about here. No, actually, just gonna block the pathway. Wants to make sure no units get out of uh, Flash for the Wind's base in any direction. Uh, once again, I, I have mentioned this before, uh, but it's kind of strange to see someone called Flash for the Wind playing PvT, but. It's his choice. I understand why he race picks it, and you know what? It's up to him. Uh, TVP's hard. He doesn't get on with it very well, so he plays PVT instead. But Terra doing a really, really nice job with these mines. Look at Terra's uh, map vision at the moment. Actually just trying to cut off every single path he can, and just being as annoying as possible with the vultures. And we do, of course, have a starport coming along as well. Uh, Robikes are still on the way. That's going to allow him to get the all-important shuttle. I bet he does need to be careful. He's going to move up the ramp. This could be pretty bad. The mine! The mine gets a huge connection! And another mine actually goes off on the Zealots. Oh, so many mines going off now. Terra has got to be feeling good about this. Getting all of the uh, all of the Zealots pretty much bar one. And Flash for the win knows he's going to have to be super careful when moving across the map. We're going to see an observatory go up immediately, I can assume, when he gets 100 gas. No. No observatory. Oh. There we go. Observatory on the way. Looks like uh, all of the units just doing what they need to do. We have the second factory coming up. Interesting choice of an eBay before a third factory. Is there an academy? Uh, still no academy yet either. So, I mean, Terra did scout everything. Oh, a nice mine went off actually killing a Dragoon. He can't be feeling good about that, but here we go. Looks like the Zealot's going to try and eat the mine on its own. Does eat it, doesn't die somehow. That is one hero Zealot. And we actually have missile turrets coming up at the front. Terra does not want to die to anything stupid. He doesn't know what's going on. Here we go. A nice drop in the main though. How many probes can he get? Two probes on this one. Two probes on the other one. Three probes actually. So much damage being done already. Nice mines at the gateways as well. Just making this as annoying as humanly possible. And he's even going to be able to get out. Nice mine on the Dragoon as well. All of the probes in the main have gone down. One more does remain. Can he focus fire it? Can he get his uh, vultures out as well with the dropship? That would be pretty sick. Uh, but we may actually see the other thing about this map come into play. As I said, there's not much airspace, so you can't really hide dropships around there. Whereas you can hide a dropship up here against Protoss and go into the natural at a later time. It looks like Terra is just going to be as annoying as possible. It looks like he's run away, but he's going to come back. He's going to fight again with that dropship. And we finally do have the third factory on the way, the fourth factory, the fifth factory as well. And Terra is up against a fast expanding, a fast double expanding Protoss player. So he's going to be feeling pretty nice about his factories right now. Uh, I'm not. He doesn't have a scan, so he doesn't know this is coming up. But he does know that uh, Flash for the Wind was trying to, um, trying to actually get units over there. And now the important thing for Flash for the Wind is he's actually going to scout all of these factories. The turret isn't in the best position to actually defend against that. And, uh, funnily enough, that's kind of bad, but the first observer does go down. Not really too much you could have done about that. After it lost the, uh, that observer lost the will to live. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like we do have the dropship hiding. Uh, we did have another vulture get dropped off, but it didn't do anything. And here we go. It looks like Flash of the Wind finally feeling confident enough to actually move across the map. He does have two observers. Uh, this is going to allow him to clear the mines very effectively. And actually moving back to clear these mines, just being absolutely sure, uh, seeing exactly what's going on now. Uh, Terra looks like he's got quite a sizable army. He's got four tanks now, uh, got quite a good number of uh, vultures. This is going to allow him to be a little bit more aggressive. He is facing only Dragoons right now. All of the Zealots did go down. Uh, we actually have another Observer on the way as well. And we may see a little bit of engagement here. Got two SCVs to build turrets with this push. That's going to help him against any eventual shuttles. 
uh, that will be coming in. It looks like uh, Terra actually moving in behind. This could be a very strong play if he pushes the Dragoons back into these mines, which he is. Oh my god, this could be such a huge play. It forces the Dragoons into the tanks, but Terra not migrating the tanks back. He's trying to focus fire them down. Nice mines from behind. What a great engagement from Terra. All of the Dragoons going down. Even Dragoons coming up the ramp dying, and GG! Terra 